It is the unofficial start to summer here at Local 12. Time to sign up for Grilling with Tim. And Tim Hedrick is signing people up right now. He joins us from the Eastgate Meyer store. Do you got a crowd there yet, Tim? Yeah, nice crowd indeed. A lot of people signing up to win a Grilling with Tim party. And I told you, Kent, at the station that we would have celebrities on this year. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this big so quick, but look who showed up. Lotto showed up. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, Joey Votto. I thought he was supposed good game to be last Cleveland, night, buddy. But no. <laughs> yeah, he did have a good game last night. Janine Faber is here as well, another star on Local 12. And uh, what are you making today for the folks? We are doing a sesame grilled pineapple sundae. Okay, can you do one for me? Sure. We already okay. have some um, grilled, and so we just added a, a little drizzle of honey and some sesame seeds. Yep. And we're just going to pull it off for just basically two minutes on each side. So very easy, a simple dessert and healthy. And then we just will put this into a bowl, a little sample size. You put it over a little yogurt or a little ice cream? A little, yes, a little yogurt or ice cream. Today we're using the low-fat vanilla Meyer brand yogurt, a little um, coconut flakes on top and a little drizzle of Hershey's chocolate syrup. And it's wow. a very healthy, easy dessert idea, fun for the summer for grilling. Nicely done. We'll see you all season long, right, yeah. at grilling parties? Thanks, Janine, I appreciate it. We're at the Meyer and Eastgate, so people can stop by here and they can sign up to win a Grillin' with Tim party. Or you can go to any Meyer across the tri state, pick up an entry form by finding the cardboard cutout of me, take it home, fill it out, and then send it in. We're going to pick two winners for the first two parties on June 11th and June 13th, I believe, coming up during the 6 o'clock news. So if you've entered to win, your name is in the cooler. You have a chance to win. That's the only way you can win if you enter. Show all the people here, Tim. Just show, just show them. They're all, they all came out for a free Hebrew National Frank. They came out for a little bit of Curly's. They came out to say hello to Channel 12 staff. Oh, it's been a good time this afternoon. Let's check radar, shall we? Here's a look at live. Precision Doppler 12 HD. We've seen a few thunderstorms to the west of Cincinnati, primarily west of I-75. Can we zoom in a little bit to that one in uh, Deer? At about 30 miles per hour. Another little shower there in Butler County and in southeastern sections of Franklin as well. They'll pop up, last for about 45 minutes, move to the northeast, and then die down. They're pretty much sparked by the daytime heating, and I think they'll die down as we lose our sunlight a little bit later on. Let's check the numbers, shall we? It's muggy. I told you that dew point would be up near the 65 or 66 degree mark. It's actually a little bit higher than that, near 67. That's very muggy, but the temperature's 83, so that's not bad, and there is a breeze with winds out of the south at about nine miles per hour. Here's a look at satellite and radar data. Things certainly do get more active as you get back into Iowa, Missouri, back through Oklahoma where they're looking for severe storms once again today. Arkansas may, be, may see some strong storms as well. So we're going to watch that uh, push closer to our area. There'll be a better chance of thunderstorms tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, into the day on Saturday. Best chance of anything strong or severe will actually be as we get into Saturday night. So keep that in mind if you have plans for Saturday night. Could be some strong thunderstorms across the area. So take a look at your forecast for tonight. 8 o'clock, you're looking at 82. Midnight down to 74. And ultimately, a fairly warm and muggy overnight low of 68. I think there could be some rain tomorrow morning across at least some of the area. Tomorrow, 73 at 9, noon 78, 5 o'clock 82 degrees. And here's your planning forecast for the next seven days. This is what we think will happen. 82 on Friday. Saturday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Now, Saturday night, there could be a strong line of thunderstorms across the area. So we'll keep an eye on those for you. Sunday, sun and clouds. I think the nicest next three days, look at Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. High temperatures 72, 75, 78 with lower relative humidities. Those three days look really nice. Thursday, near 80 degrees. Oh, Tim Bear, our photographer, found a little one. Hi, what's your name? What's your name? I'm going to guess. Let's call you Veronica. Nice to meet you. She's, she's get Elizabeth, we've got Orville Redenbach popcorn. We've got David sunflower seed. She's got a couple of drinks here. Can I have a potato chip? You're going to have a potato chip? Live from the Meyer and Eastgate, I'm Tim <laughs> Hendrick. adorable. <laughs> That's my potato We will see chip. you coming up at 617. We picked two winners at 617, so tune back in. Thank you, Elizabeth. Just see you in a bit, Kip. Don't talk to strangers, honey. <laughs> <laughs>